You are shooting the bridge. The bridge is invulnerable. Nice work there. And again, I am also shooting the bridge, because I'm trying to shoot at you, but I'm at the totally wrong angle. How did I miss that? Okay, good! On my way! But remember, tanks are slow. Oh, hey, I can still move. Oh, look at the flyboys, taking all the credit. Yeah. Wallowing it. I did all the hard work. Literally, I did all the hard work. Barnes seems a bit more of a regretful protagonist than Jimmy or Powell was. Hmm. Doesn't he? I mean, he recites poetry about his experiences, so maybe he's a bit more, I don't know, less of an action hero type. Yeah, he does seem a bit more regretful of his actions, like, I still remember the faces of all the men that I killed. Well, Jimmy's just, you know, generic. I, won't, I guess generic, because he doesn't really have a personality, but... Uh, action hero type, I'm gonna bust in the story, kill all these Nazis, or I'm gonna show them my papers, and then shoot them in the face. And Powell was kind of the same way, honestly. Except, uh, he had more squad mates that were more talkative. This game... Um, compared to the uh, original uh, Allied Assault, uh, shorter, yes, quite shorter, but that's what you expect from an expansion pack. Not quite a full new game. But it had its memorable moments. Uh, as, as I said, the house-to-house -house moments in this game, when you're in a building and it's got multiple levels and you're just going from room to room, gunning down dudes, that was really fun. I enjoyed those parts immensely. And even the tank sequence, despite the... Eh, meh, meh, I was kind of meh on the battle at the end there just seemed, I don't know, it just didn't feel terribly epic or anything. Like, defend this static position from these tanks who are also kind of static. It just kind of turns into a shooting gallery where you have to defend your your allies more so than yourself, by kind of putting yourself in a position where you can't easily be shot, but you draw enemy fire just so that they'll stay alive. 
I don't know, it just, it didn't strike me as a terribly great way to end the game. But, I, I think it worked for the effect they were going for. Yeah, it's recycle music, right? What game is this from? Is this the ending music? No, uh, this is the ending music to one of the games. I don't remember which one. Or it's in, like, the last mission or something. I want to say it's Frontline, actually, but I think that's wrong. Yeah, that's probably totally wrong, but I'm, I'm getting off track. And like Allied Assault, this game had its moments of pure, annoying, Nintendo hard difficulty, like holding that line, which apparently I did fairly well. See comments from people saying, oh, for a first time, you did pretty good. I, I thought I did rather horribly, but thanks. <laughs> and, uh, what was the first mission again? The first mission was, a uh, was in Normandy, when we parachuted in, yes. Uh, and of course the captain running out, getting his ass shot to hell every few firefights was always fun. And the usefulness of our squad mates can never be uh, overstated. But that's something that, you know, was kind of improved in later World War II games as the genre wore on. Mm. They, I feel like they were going for a more cinematic feel, or at least a more... Uh, personable protagonist in this game than they were in previous ones. Uh, Barnes is just, uh, he, they at least try to make him into a character between missions, but it still comes across as a little jarring when you're in a mission and Barnes doesn't say anything and he doesn't really react to what's going on, but he still, like, thinks about it afterwards, so while he's out in the field, he's a straight-up killer machine, but when he's, when he's in his bunk at night, he's writing poetry and crying himself to sleep, I don't know. It just doesn't, it, it comes across as mixed, let's say. Uh, oh, and that vehicle mission, oh, that was terrible. That is not a good way to design a vehicle mission. There was a, there was a right on the rail sequence in, um, an Allied Assault in the beginning, of the, near the beginning of the game, wasn't there? It's, it's been like a, more than a year since I played that game, so the memory of it is kind of fuzzy. Uh, but there was an, when you're, you're, or it's just Call of Duty, I can't remember, I think it's Allied Assault, when you're in, um, when you're like North Africa, and you're in this Jeep, and you're driving through this airport, and you're, you know, shooting at planes and shit. But that was in Allied Assault, wasn't it? I believe that there were health pickups during that mission. It was a hard mission still, because you kind of had to know where everything was, or else you were gonna die. But I think there were health pickups, or something. It, uh, at least my memory, if my memory is correct, I think there were. And plus, that um, during that mission, you eventually got out on foot and you could find health then too. And that mission wasn't very long, and there weren't a billion tanks, and you didn't have a gun that kind of shot slowly and inaccurately. So maybe it was just a better designed mission. The Hills of Bastogne. That's a. Uh, I think I've heard that poem before, actually. I think so. History of the first everyone. Yes, yeah, so these aren't poems they just wrote for the game. These are, you know, real poems, which I, I expected that. Uh, what else to say? Music. Mostly recycled. I, I think every th musical theme in this game was recycled. I don't exactly know the music from these games well enough to identify where they came from or what, or usually what missions they came from, but hey, I know I've heard this before, and it's totally from another game, so... I don't mind that, because this music's pretty good, but it gets to the point where, I don't know. Oh, well, this was one of the earlier games in the series anyway, right? I mean, this was like part of the third or fourth game in the series at this point, so it's okay if they're recycling music. And they didn't do that in later games, as far as I know. They made completely original soundtracks for uh, uh, Rising Sun, European Assault. I would never played Vanguard. And, uh, Played Little Heroes 2. I did not like Heroes 2. But that's another matter entirely. What am I going to do next? Uh, in all honesty, I have no idea what I want to do next. I said I was going to do an RPG. I would like to do an RPG. I would really like to. But I don't know what RPG I want to do. And I've got like three or four candidates that I'm just kind of sifting through. And I really need to get off my ass. And I've, I've tested two of them to see if they'll work with Fraps and if they'll... Uh, if they'll record right and they won't look totally insane, but uh, they seem to work fine. Two of those seem. I've got 
of two others that I haven't worked on yet. I should probably get on that. Man, I'm so lazy. Or alternatively, I could just continue on the breakthrough and finish up all of these Medal of Honor games. Because this will probably be the last Medal of Honor game after I finish breakthrough at least. Probably the last Medal of Honor game I play for a bit. Uh, I'm for a bit, I mean a while at least. Unless I end up buying a, you know, a capture card or a brand new computer, which I don't think I'm going to do anytime soon. Although I have been kind of entertaining the idea of buying a new laptop or something, but... I've only had this one for about a year and four months, so I don't see a reason to spend another $800 on a computer that is better, but not really necessary. Not to say my laptop sucks or anything, it's good at what it does. But it's just not really a gaming rig, which is kind of disappointing. Then again, I didn't buy it to be a gaming rig. I just bought it for schoolwork, and ironically, I never used it for schoolwork. <laughs> I use it for schoolwork a lot, but I never bring it to school or anything, so I'm always afraid it'll be stolen or that it'll uh, be a distraction or something like that. I am rambling, aren't I? I am so ran off topic right now. I don't know what I'm going to do next, honestly. If I... I'll probably just... Uh, if I'm going to do an RPG, I'll make a voting video between the three or four candidates, and you guys can decide. I don't know when that'll be up. Probably sometime this week, if that's the case. And if that's not the case, and I decide... I don't want to do an RPG right now. I'll just go ahead and do a breakthrough and see how that goes. Maybe even try to give a... I don't really want to do World, two World War II shooters in a row, but then again, I haven't done two World War II shooters in a row for more than a year. So maybe it's not that big of a deal. If that's the case, then I'll just start Breakthrough outright. I hear Breakthrough is significantly easier and shorter than uh, this game was. Or at least easier. So that's good. Because this game... Not terribly difficult when compared to Allied Assault, because Allied Assault is a fucking nightmare, but this game had its moments of rage, but they weren't, they didn't quite reach the level of nerd rage that I sometimes acquired. Oh, we're back here. That's convenient. Let's have a look at our medals. Only two. That's disappointing. I'm not going to get the other four, by the way. I'm just not. Why? I don't know, because I don't know how to get them. Silver Star, for gallantry in action against an opposing armed force. On April 30th, 1945, Sergeant Jack Barnes, 501st PIR, successfully completed a difficult tour of duty in the European Theater of Operations. That basically means, you won the game! Yay! Here's a medal for your trouble. Medal for the capture of Berlin. Awarded under extreme special circumstance by the Soviet Red Army, Sergeant Jack Barnes, with complete disregard to personal safety, confronted hostile armed forces, and managed to secure vital documents attributable to saving the lives of thousands of Soviet nationals. Extreme special circumstance. Soviets had to think really hard about giving me this medal. Like, the American kind of deserves it, but he's also a dirty capitalist, so... Hmm. Oh, well, it would be nice if I got something ridiculous. Oh, you got the hero of the Soviet Union! <laughs> That'd be great. Uh, never really showed you what... And you know where all this is. It's just options only. Nothing interesting there. This is multiplayer. I never do anything here. Goes back to the map room. This is not the map room. This is the war room or the OSS office. God damn it. Not the, not the map room. It's not the room where they just keep the giant map. There's a map in here too, I think. See? There's a map here. That's also the map room. It gets confusing. No one knows which map room you're talking about. I love this fan. Just keep spinning. Uh, watch it forever. But I won't. So yes, thank you for watching this Let's Play. I liked it. I like this game. This game was all right. Doesn't really compare to the quote unquote pleasant memories of Allied Assault, but it's an interesting continuation with it. And I can see they were trying to go for a different direction with how the narrative of the games went, and I can applaud them for that. I wonder how Bre Breakthrough goes. Does it have a different end? A different protagonist? Does it have a central antagonist like Frontline? Because Frontline was a game that came out after this. Huh. That'll be something to see, at least. I'm intrigued. So, next project. I'll either have a voting video up sometime, say, like, Thursday or Friday, which is meaningless to people watching this a year from now. Uh, or I'll start Breakthrough fairly soon, if that's the case. If anybody has any suggestions, because honestly, I... I'm kind of scatterbrained when it comes to a, a planning out my Let's Plays as my future of saying, I'm going to do this game, and then never doing it because it didn't work out. Or uh, I decided to do this other random game instead. A history of just kind of doubling back on myself and 
free, please feel free to recommend anything. And that would be pretty cool. I'll definitely listen to you. I might not necessarily do what you say, but I will listen to you. I will lend you my ear or my eyes. One of the two. I can't really hear comments, though. So, there's that. Thank you for watching, and I'll see y'all later.